We now look at the big hashtags of this week. And for the segment, you know him by now, SABC Multimedia Producer, very old Neo Motlog. Neo, good morning. Good morning, Alicia. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Neo. Do you have uh, big hashtags for us this week? Let's start with the biggest one. The biggest one has to be Life as it many. It oh was a major topic mm. on social media. So, Alicia, we took it onto social media to ask this poll um, who must take full responsibility for the deaths of the 94 mentally ill people as detailed in the Life as it many report and as you can see from the results I mean 18% um, said it has to be the MEC uh, of health in Gauteng while 62% says all officials in, in, yeah. in the department and while you have 20% saying the system uh, the health system is to blame I mean mm. we saw a whole lot of tweets coming out and what saying they that say um, on Twitter, <clears throat> like um, Garabo here um, hashtag life is city many my condolences to the families the NGOs without valid licenses need to be held accountable as well as the MEC of health. I mean, people are saying that she needs to take responsibility for this, and we know that the EFF and the DA has pressed charges, charges, uh, like yeah. charges against her. So mm -hmm. this one by IG, um, ZA Empress say, people must go to jail for this. This will deter people from taking jobs they cannot do and gambling with our lives in the process. Hashtag life is a demand. We saw a whole lot of people calling in saying uh, why um, um, the departments need to look into qualifications of people who take these offices. Yeah, here's mm. another tweet. I'm yeah, really touched by this. Mm. It is shocking that greed would override the right to life for any human. It is very concerning. Prof, what did you make about the social reactions? I know we're going to talk about it in greater detail I don't want to say too show. much because we are going to talk about it. Yeah. But, but I think it's always interesting in these situations that people say it's about people's qualifications. I don't think it's about people's qualifications at all. I think it's about a whole set of attitudes which hopefully we can talk about later. Mm, absolutely, and we're going to discuss those attitudes now. Give us the next big hashtag the of this The next big week. one what has to be Harry now resigning <gasps> uh, on Tuesday. I mean, oh, yeah. Uh, there were mixed reactions on Twitter, but the poll we asked before the news broke was, do you make, uh, what do you make of the state prosecutor Harry Nell's resigning from the NPA, reportedly to join Afri Forum, and it and its private investigation unit. Um, we have 37% saying it's a huge loss to the state, mm -hmm. while 23% say he will do a good job there, and 40% say Afri Forum is not a good choice. I mean, Very interesting reviews. What were they saying on Twitter? Do you have uh, any tweets We do. Um, like this one from Nawa, which is not me, but hashtag <laughs> Harry now. <laughs> Farewell Harry, a pitbull now. I wish all the best in the new endeavors of the advancing racism and protecting white privilege. People are coming out with this. It, it was a mixed reaction. Um, the, the next tweet, which is more positive from Roman, it says, Harry Nell joining Afro Forum is an excellent move. The state prosecuting authority has been captured. Private prosecution will be great. Mm -hmm. Very interesting reviews there too. I know we're also going to talk about this, Prof, but a very quick word from you. What do you think of the social side uh, in terms of reaction? Well, you know, I'm the skeptic here. I'm the one who always has to point <laughs> out to you guys that, you know, 20% of the population is on social media. Yeah. Mm. But I've been interested, we'll talk about it some more, I've been interested in the diversity of the reactions, actually. I would have expected most of the reactions to simply say, look, a free forum is not acceptable, etc. Yeah. I've been quite surprised that there have been other reactions saying, you know, from black people saying mm. it's okay, which I was a bit surprised about. Very surprising indeed. Well, we're going to discuss that story in more detail uh, in a short while. Neo, take us through our next big hashtag for the this week. The last one has to be Patricia DeLille resigning oh, also yes, as the, the DA West the Cape. Week, yeah. Yes, I mean, people are resigning this week. Uh, but on, on our social media, we got 10% said uh, no sinister behind her resignation and 28% um, trouble in the party, while 17% say I accept her, her reasons and 45% says makes no difference to me. Very interesting mm. indeed. Were there any tweets that caught the, your the attention I on mean, that saga? Like <laughs> this one for it says juggling with too many balls at once isn't good for anyone. Uh, well done, Patricia DeLille, for wanting to focus only on service delivery. Mm. People are rewarding her for that. Mm -hmm. And the following tweet says, Patricia DeLillo resigns as a Western Cape leader, then post on Twitter the resignation letter written to DA leader, some transparency. And that the last one actually congratulate her. Uh, mm -hmm. It says, Patricia DeLillo showing true leadership by making way for new leaders. 
for a new leader salute. Mm, Prof, what did you make of those developments? Resignation week? No, it's, week? it's trouble in the party, <laughs> what, whatever people may be saying. I mean, the evidence is quite clear. There's a power struggle going on in the, in the Cape Town metro. There's a power struggle going on in the Western Cape DA. And she seems to be in a victim of it. Who's going to be the beneficiary? We'll have to see. Mm, all right. Now, is that all you have for us this week? That's all week? we have this week. All right. Do tell us where can people find all these stories mm. you've been telling us about and also Media Monitor when the show Media finished. Monitor, crew. <laughs> uh, Media Monitor will catch it on our YouTube channel at SABC Online. Um, the news you'll catch it on www.sabc.co.za forward slash news. All right. Well, Thank that's so where we leave it. We're going to take a quick ad break. And after the break, we're going to look at the SED many tragedy that's resulted in the loss of reportedly 94 mentally ill patients. Stay tuned for that. It's all coming up after the break.